Quick little video about TV mounting. So, you want to hang a little 32 inch. Most of the time these are kind of small. But, uh, so we have drywall. And wood paneling. Ooch. So we have to cut out that wood. Now, a lot of times people say, hey, Amazon just does it for $99. Ooh, that's a great thing. So when you get these universal remotes or uh, stands, you might notice that the HDMI cables are right on the actual bracket. So a little bit dark on the lighting, but as you can see, we actually had to cut the metal to notch out the two HDMI ports. Uh, this is an auxiliary cable. So, you know, you have to be prepared for something custom. Every television is not the same. The ports are not going to be the same. So what are you supposed to do? You, special order? Yes. But uh, a lot of times when we get on site, this is some of the stuff that we have to factor out. Now for power, how are we going to get the power? I see a lot of these $99 specials. They have the HDMI cable down, but how do you get power up to there? So you can hire an electrician and we're experimenting, experimenting with the power bridges. Uh, Legrand makes some great choices and stuff like that, but you basically put this up top and there's a bridge for down below uh, right into there. So it's a double gang that we'll have to cut out in the wood and then this one should be easy because it's just drywall. Uh, theoretically, it should be there. And then it has the whisker or the push through for your uh, HDMIs or the auxiliary cable or coaxial in this case. So a couple different options. A lot of times it's just not boom, 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 30 minutes, walked into this site and it's going to be a lot more than 30 minutes. So configure out your drops. That's it. So we mounted the box, drywall, no big deal. And I like to put it in the middle because, you know, for the cables. So here's the thing. A lot of times we'll be going into weird things. So we had to actually start in the wood with a paddle bit because we're never going to know what's there. Um, so we have to reel first, take a drill bit, put it in the middle, see if we have anything like wood or anything like that. Now we did drop a pole, and, but anyway, it's safe to put a drill bit in there first see if you get any resistance. Then you just take a paddle bit, put it for the four holes so that you can get your saw in there. So you put the four starter holes right there and then you just take your saw, since you already have a spot to put your blade, and just trim it out. So make sure on board you always have a saw and oomph and then sort them into bits. Step three on the way. So here we go at the end. We have power. No image right now. We don't have anything plugged in. So inside the wall is just your HDMI cables, coaxial, auxiliary, whatever you want, uh, network connections. I would always suggest someone putting in a network cable because even though smart TVs are wireless, it's going to chew up your bandwidth. Um, one thing I will suggest, these are just six foot cables. So on the truck, we had an HDMI extender. Um, so if you're gonna have devices, I would not assume that you're gonna put your cable box directly on the floor. So uh, spend 10 bucks and get a 15 foot or a 20 foot. Uh, the auxiliary cord, which they're gonna put in a uh, sound system on this smaller TV is there for them. So, but basically existing power is utilized uh, we had enough space in the wall. It was a challenge to chew it up. But uh, all in all, that's the difference between $99 no wires exposed at uh, Walmart or uh, Amazon, I believe, has that installation. So think through your process. Get longer cables. And the television is shutting down because I'm taking too long. But I'm just trying to give everybody ideas. Take care.